right, guys. So I decided to pre-record a whole bunch of different multi-summons for you. I ended up dropping about 600 stones on this intelligence banner um, to get try my luck for the LR Gohan. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably sitting there like, dude, you're freaking nuts. Why the heck would you do that? It's just a stupid card, blah, 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 blah. Some of you might be like, dude, that's freaking awesome. I wish I had the you know monetary funds that you have in order to do that. At the end of the day, I did it, and I want to make sure that I tried my damnedest to get this freaking card. So essentially what I did was every two, every day, I did two multi-summons, maybe three, depends on how many stones I actually had to, you know, get. Uh, and I just recorded them, so that way I put them up in one ma ma massive video. Now the whole reason why I did it every day, one, two every day, was because I've typically had the luck where I can try a hundred times in one day, to try and get one card, and I wouldn't get it. The next day I do like one multi-summon and I get it. So I figured, let me just try a couple every day throughout the lifespan of the banner, so that way, one, one I can mon uh, monitor myself to make sure I don't go ham and go too crazy. And two, so that way, um, you know, I might increase my luck. Uh, I know it's all RNG-based, guys. There's no actual mathematics or science behind it. But I figured, you know what, it's worth a shot to try it out this way. So I went ahead and I did it. Um, 600 stones total is what I put into this banner, well, at least for this video. Um, if you guys were, stay tuned. I think if I did, um, what, two other three other summoning videos on this banner. Um, so you can go ahead and check those out as well if you want to. But this is the longest out of all of them because this is just a whole compilation of about five or six days worth of multi-summons. Anyway, so because of this banner, I ended up getting my Waifu Videl, my favorite Waifu card, 100% maxed out. She is complete, well, not 100% not dupe system, but she's super attack 10 because of all of the um, SR Videls that I had saved up for her. And I got all four dupe pads unlocked. And she, so since she's super attack 10, all four dupe pads unlocked, she's all set. Now, personally, I'm thinking about actually feeding in dupe system to her just because, I mean, honestly, I know she's just a waifu card, but she is actually one of the best waifu cards in my opinion. Um, I'm not just saying that because she's my favorite waifu. <laughs> now, let's see, I'm, gonna, I'm bringing her up right now on my actual phone screen. So, um, she, her, her uh, super attack, supreme damage and lowers an enemy's attack and defense. And she... Her passive skill lowers the enemy's attack by 20%. Attack enemy's attack minus 20% and recovers 20% of damage as health. So, yeah, she's not hitting hard. She's definitely not a hard hit or whatever. She does supreme damage, though. Um, and she is an intelligence and strength type mini lead. So, she's overall a really not a bad card. She's probably one of the best cards. She does lack a hell of a lot of link skills, though. Her link skills all suck. But if you give her double attack, right? With her passive skill, attack enemy minus 20%. That's a double, that's 40%. And it doesn't need to be super attack, guys. A double attack actually works really well with her. And she has an inherent dodge ability. So if you're doing for a DR team, she's going to be really well. Do really good. The other one that um, I maxed out was the Intelligence Extreme Vegeta. He is super viable on the Mono Extreme team. Um, he is only at super attack 2, unfortunately. But I do have him set up for... Um, uh, all four dupe pads at this point, and he is semi-farmable, and I have a whole bunch of Vegetas from this banner, actually, that I just didn't have enough um, Awakening Metals to use, or Zenny, actually, because I'm all out of Zenny and Awakening Metals. But anyway, guys, as you see here, I've been pulling a hell of a lot of SSRs. Um, I believe I, I also got the Migra at some point. I don't know if that was actually recorded or not, but I was super hyped about that because I don't have him. I think, I, well, I, I still need Toa, and I still need um, Mira. I don't have Toa or Mira, but I do have Demigra, so I was happy about that. But yeah. Um, overall, this was uh, definitely an investment, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, overall, though, this was a freaking, this was a fun chase. I did enjoy a little bit of the chase. Personally, I, I'm never a fan of throwing in too much into one banner. Uh, so, like Very similar to the tech banner that's currently out with the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and the uh, Mass Saiyan Bardock. Uh, personally, I, did, I didn't want to put anything into the banner just because I already had every banner unit except for those two. So I did end up doing... Well, it turned into four multi-summons if you can count all the singles that I've done so far. So, I've done three multi-summons. Uh, one was off the camera, two were on. So, I'm going to do one multi-summon before uh, an actual gameplay video of the event. Um, so, stay tuned for that. And then, um, once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and put gameplay one of the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku event and then one of the uh, Mass Saiyan Bardock event. Uh, in those videos. Well, I'll tell you the one that I didn't record, I ended up pulling, and let me tell you how pissed I am, because I'm sitting there, no, don't do the multi so don't, you already have all four of these units on the banner, um, you, you know, if you get any of them, you're gonna be pissed off. What happens? I pulled, I pulled Broly, I pulled Super Vegito, um, I pulled, uh, Goku Black, and whatever the, uh, I forgot what the other one was, but I pulled all of the units on this freaking damn Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku banner, except for Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, 
and Mass Saiyan Bardock. Hell, I even pulled the bait, well, the, the Super Saiyan SR Bardock. I literally pulled every banner card in one multi summon except for those two. I was super pissed, super pissed. But that also put my Broly count to about 16 so far. I have 16 Broly's. Um, two of them, I bobbed two of them. Uh, obviously, the one is Super Attack 10 with um, four dupe pads on left because I use all their Kai's on the Supreme Damage one. Um, but in terms of Broly, yeah, um, I got him all like literally set up uh, for Super Attack 10 with all four dupe pads on left. And I just keep on pulling. I have nine of them saved. I literally have nine of them saved just because if we get another legendary Super Saiyan Broly, I won't need any Elder Kai's for him. The same thing happened with the Gogeta. If you guys have been following me, I have like eight Gogetas right now just waiting for the Intelligence Gogeta to come around. So I'm just waiting because when that comes around, I'm probably going to go a little bit hard on that banner. Uh, I I used two discount stone packs um, on this banner, and then I'm just going to save the other three. I'm actually going to get them, and I'm going to save them for the Intelligence Gogeta for when he comes around. Because you already know there's going to be some on that banner. And I might go a little bit ham on that banner. depends. I already went kind of ham on everything else. And personally, I think I'm just going to go, honestly, for a category lead, the, the hybrid Saiyan team with that Gohan. And... You know, just use that, because personally, I like the Hybrid Saiyan team. I think it's a freaking badass team. Uh, Gohan, Trunks, and Gotenks, those three are freaking badass characters. Unfortunately, there will be no Gogeta inside of it. I guess I could use the Strength one, because the Gohan does give Strength types a little bit of a boost. Um, there's another one of my waifu Videls, that's why she's now maxed out. <laughs> um, also, if you guys didn't see, I also pulled the Clone Piccolo, so that's why I have a whole bunch of those uh, SR Piccolos. They're all saved up as well. I need a whole bunch of those Intelligence Medals. I did a whole bunch of grinding one day for Intelligence Metals to get some of them to awaken. Then I ran out of Zenny. Then I did the Hercule event to try and get Zenny. It was a pain. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, yeah. So as you see, I've been doing a lot. Anyway, if you guys want to go do a, a multi-summon with me, go ahead, pause the video, and do it with me. Or just do it right now, whatever, while I'm doing the video. You don't need to do it at the same exact time as me. Uh, go ahead, let me know what you guys pulled down in the comments below. By this time, um, I'm actually recording this on Sunday. I didn't actually, you know, I, I was going to put this up last week, but so much stuff had happened between news, actual real life stuff, um, and, you know, uh, this past weekend I was actually going to record it as well, not really, really on Thursday I was going to record it, but I ended up looking up some stuff, I had to tighten up my, my motorcycle chain, if you guys don't know, I got a motorcycle last year, first time I ever got one, and I, uh, I never had to ever work on a bike before, so I had to teach myself a couple things, I learned how to tighten the chain, which I know it's very simple, it's very simple, but um, I wanted to make sure I did it properly, so I did a whole bunch of research. I didn't have a jack, I had to do it. Anyway, it took up about half of my day between buying the jack and everything. Um, but yeah, here it is, guys. There is the legendary summon itself. I got my LR Gohan. I'm super hyped. I am super hyped. So you guys already know, I've been taking on these two events already with my LR Gohan team because I have a lot of LR Gohan friends, believe it or not. Um, so you will be seeing gameplay of LR Gohan. Um, Towards the end of this video, um, I, I still have two multi-summons after this because I figured the rates were high. Let's go ahead and see if we can pull another LR Gohan. Um, <laughs> but uh, you'll see, I did all the training and everything. I fed him in. So if you guys actually saw me grinding out all of those Super Saiyan Gohans from the BoJack event, getting ready for this, uh, yeah, all of them were used. <laughs> I actually had a couple left over, and I used it on the Agility one, um, which, which isn't in this video, actually. But I have the Agility... Uh, Gohan from the World Tournament, the, the Teen Gohan, I guess you can call it, and I used a couple of them on him, just so that way I can increase his Super Attack up. I think he's at Super Attack 6 right now. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, we got two more multi-summons here, this is the one, if you guys want to pull with me, pause it, pull with me, let me know what you pull down in the comments below. Uh, one thing I'll say again, I just want to make sure I was very elaborate about this, don't ever hunt for an LR. You know, I was stupid, during the time of this recording, I actually was not in the right state of mind. Hashtag drunk summons. <laughs> um, that was when you saw the screen get dim. Oh, by the way, I apologize about that. The whole reason the screen was dim, I actually tried to modify it to make it look a little bit nicer. I have this app called Twilight on my phone, <clears throat> and it dims the screen for you. That way it's not harsh on your eyes. And I was actually in a movie theater at that time, and I was doing some of those summons in, in a movie theater, so I had to be you know, safe with it. Uh, plus, I didn't want to you know, disturb everyone else. Anyway, that's why it was a lot dimmer during that uh, actual summon. Ended up having to get up out of my seat and get out of the theater. One for two reasons, but um, one was just because I wasn't really enjoying the movie. But I figured, hey, I pulled this, so let me go outside and you know hit some people up who would be super excited because a couple of my friends that I was there with weren't really happy for me. Who were just like, I, I don't know what the heck you're talking about, bro. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah. So I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this play out. The rest of this video is essentially me just training up the Gohan to get him up to Super Attack 10. Um, I got all these guys e-awakened these are all the ones from the bojack event so if you guys want to go ahead and continue to watch that go ahead if not 
do me a favor, just make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Help me get this video out to people. Um, I will be doing gameplay of my LR Gohan, so if you want to see that double LR Gohan lead, I did have enough potential orbs to get his full base dupe system filled out. So that means no dupe has unlocked, obviously. But um, I have his full base dupe system unlocked right now, so that's super freaking hyped. Anyway, um, yeah, guys. So um, first off, I've been watching Naruto. I am. I was never a big fan of Naruto. There was always this, there was this kid who used to run around my apartment complex when I was a kid, uh, and he would run around on all fours like. You know, I don't know why. I guess Naruto did that when he was younger. And whenever he would get angry, he'd start doing the angry Naruto voice. And I was like, bro, what the hell? It, always, it turned me off the series, honestly. He was a young kid. I mean, what can you really expect? You can't really do anything about that. But anyway, it's a very popular series. And I already watched Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super GT. I've watched the dub, the sub of Dragon Ball Z. I've watched Dragon Ball Kai. I've watched all the movies, so like the Dragon Ball is pretty much I've, I've watched everything I could possibly watch, and at, at, at this point it would just be rewatching it just for the sake of rewatching it. Um, Yu Yu Hakusho, I've already watched that. I watched it when it was on Toonami back in the day. Um, I just rewatched the series again because it is a short series. I did like the series. Don't get me wrong, I love Yu Yu Hakusho. It's one of my favorite series. Um, he's a little bit edgy. <laughs> he's a he's a funny character. Uh, there, I have a coworker who I make fun of him. I always call him Yusuke, and he has no idea what the heck who the heck Yusuke is. He always gets angry, and then I tell him, <laughs> like, all right, you're a meshy, calm down. <laughs> but, um, so I've watched that, and uh, I watched, what was the other one that I've watched? That was Bleach, uh, because I obviously, I'm a big Bleach fan as well. I played Bleach Brave Souls, which I might start bringing content to you guys on that. Maybe not news, but more gameplay and summons. Uh, I do play that a lot, so, you know, it's literally, it's Dokkan Battle and Bleach Brave Souls, both JP and, and uh, Global of Dokkan Battle, that is. So, yeah. Um, if you, anyway, I already talked to you guys, a lot of you said it don't want to hurt to put up, put up some of the content, so I might as well uh, start throwing the content up. By the way, all those medals right there, they were all from the second year anniversary. I haven't purchased a single one from the Baba Shop yet. I might buy more just so that way I have them set, but yeah, that's how ham I went. I, I think I did one, I did one multi-summon, or one summon on that banner for the tickets for LR Gohan. I ended up getting, um, like five or six or seven a couple times, so I got really lucky with those as well. But yeah, that's my LR Gohan right there. Um, I'm going ahead. I'm training him up to get him, to get him all the way up. By the way, if you didn't notice, I didn't realize I used I used the androids. Anyone who remember those an, who remembers those androids from back in the day, I think that was the one year anniversary. We got the little android training items. <laughs> uh, I didn't remember using them. I shouldn't have used them. I, I was just keeping them there because I wanted to keep them there. But whatever, it was very very well worth it. I got up to level 150 super quick. Um, and then I went ahead and I used all my Elder Kai's on him. So that way I can get him up the rest of the way. But uh, anyway, guys, yeah, uh, that's my that's my LR Gohan. I have a whole bunch of LR Gohan friends. I will be doing some showcases. I've just been taking my time to try and get this video out to you because it's about, you know, 12, 13 minute video. And it was also just a whole compilation on top of all the news and all the stuff I had to deal with. But on top of that, I'm going to start watching Arrow and The Flash because that just came back out this week. Um, I missed last week's episode, so please no spoilers in the comments below. <laughs> But uh, anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Make sure to like that video and stay tuned for more LR Gohan Summit. Thank you. Have a great day.